Eov, Job 16. Then Eov answered and said, I have heard many such things, miserable comforts, rather, comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldens you that you answer? I also could speak as ye do, if your soul were in my soul's stead. I could heap up words against you and shake my head at you. But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. Though I speak, my grief is not assuaged, and though I forbear, what am I eased? But now he has made me weary. You have made me, you have made desolate all my company, and you have filled me with wrinkles which is a witness against me, and my leanness rising up in me bears witness to my face. He tears me in his wrath, who hates me. He gnashes upon me with his teeth. My enemy sharpens his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten upon me, rather smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered, gathered themselves together against me. Ale has delivered me to the perverse and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he has broken me asunder. He has also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. His archers compass me round about. He cleaves my mind asunder and does not spare. He pours out my gall upon the ground. He breaks me with breach upon breach. He runs upon me like a giant. I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and defiled my horn in the dust. My face is foul with weeping, and on my eyelids is the shadow of death. Not for any injustice in my hands, also my prayer is pure. O earth, cover not my blood, and let my cry have no place. Also now, behold, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but my eye pours out tears unto Eloah. Oh, that one might plead for a man with his, rather with Eloah, as a man pleads for his neighbor. When a few years are come, then I shall go the way, whence I shall not return.